I'm super excited to be joined by my good friend, Natalie. Natalie originally ran the social media for my medical practice. We became great friends and she inspired me to start posting on social media. So we're coming full circle, talking yes. skincare with Natalie. I'm excited. Yeah. So Natalie, you have great skin. Thank you. You don't need anybody to tell you that. Well, I mean, I ask a lot. <laughs> I'll actually send you pictures. I'm like, is this normal? And you're like, yeah, you're totally. fine. Yeah. So, <laughs> But you use some products that I would consider premium products. Mm -hmm. They're definitely in a higher price point, and that's not something that everybody can afford. Uh -huh. And it's not something that you want to lose if you're traveling. Exactly. So today we're going to go through your skincare routine, mm -hmm. and we're going to pick products from Target that you can travel with easier, that is affordable to more people, and that if your bag goes up missing, you're not out hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Perfect. I love so. it. Let's do it. Okay. And um, we may have to ignore some things she says because... Oh. You're gonna make fun of me, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, I am. I know so much, so much. Let's just let's just be open. Let's just talk about all the things. Let's start with your skincare routine, okay, then. Great. So walk okay. us through what you're doing right now. Okay. So first thing, obviously, I'm um, using a cleanser. Okay. I want something. Um, usually, I like something I can use both morning and night, but that also will remove my makeup, but also isn't stripping my skin from oils. Gotcha. Okay. I have just the thing for that. And we're gonna go to CeraVe for this. I pick their cleansers a lot, but it's because I love them. They have a lot of good options, and um, it works well for a lot of people. Okay. So something that's good at removing makeup, but it's not going to strip your skin, is gonna be the Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Okay. So this does lather up nicely, gives the uh, experience that you like from a cleanser, mm -hmm. um, and it's really good for removing makeup. They've got all their characteristic ingredients to hydrate your skin, like ceramides, hyaluronic acid, yeah. So that's what you just doing. tell me what it is. I mean, okay. I, you say the words and I'm like, sure, okay, yeah, okay, I got Use it. this cleanser morning and night. Also, one thing I've noticed is that I, there are some things that I really like to invest in, but even in, in investing a lot of money in my products, I will often have a lesser priced cleanser because yeah. it often works just as well. They often do work just as well. They're not in contact with your skin for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like cleansers that are too aggressive can do more damage, but even expensive cleansers are not necessarily adding a whole lot to your skin. Mm -hmm. These have good ingredients. They're not going to strip your skin. It's not expensive. Yeah. Do you remember in the beginning when you first started doing this and you were just washing your face on like TikTok all the time? Yeah. Like I've seen you wash your face so many times. All of America has. <laughs> That's it's what fun. I do. That's what I do. That's why I had to shave my head because I tipped my it head down. It looks really good. Can I, I get like, like can, everyone yeah. wants. Oh, Yes, it is as satisfying as you think it is. Okay. All, all right. right. Next so up. So we've uh, got the cleanser. Okay. So we're going to hold on to that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You, oh, have, yeah, to, you have to get these for me, right? Yes, Isn't we're going to the buy dough? these for you. That's I'm like, how are it you works. Gonna, what, are you, what do I get for going to Target? And you said anything in the store I wanted, basically, as long as it fit in the cart. I don't remember that <laughs> I think part of the conversation. I think that, I think that's so what we, it was. Can, we can revisit that. Okay. Uh, maybe a little <laughs> bit of uh, negotiation. Okay. Okay. So tell me what's next in your skincare okay, routine. Okay, so in the morning, the next thing I'm going to do. Um, is that I'm going to do my vitamin uh, C serum. Okay. I try to, after my cleanser, kind of go in order of like uh, for, vis for viscosity. Yeah. It's kind of like the thinner viscosity first, moving up to like a thicker. Yeah, That's, heavier. Yeah. yeah. So vitamin C serum, and right. it is pretty pricey. It's uh, over yeah. $150. Okay. It's one of my favorite products, um, but not, you know, not everyone can afford $150. Right. Um, and my daughter even is like, I would love to use yeah. a vitamin C serum. I'm like, not this one. Yeah, you're 17, <laughs> you know, so that would be great, great to have okay. something like that. So there's a number of really good vitamin C serums, okay. and um, I've used a few different new ones recently. Mm -hmm. So I got to find the one we're searching, searching. Oh my gosh, like, yeah. Natalie. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I know. We all know. No, don't, don't do that one. Don't do that one. Yeah, I think we got to go to the next aisle. Okay, let's go. And we're going to find the vitamin C. We're going to do the vitamin C from True Skin. So okay. this is kind of in the natural organic skincare aisle. Okay. This one is like $20. Vitamin really? C facial serum from True Skin. Easy to travel with. You're going to find that it has the um, same consistency as the one that you're using. A way better price point. It is really well rated on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a good one to travel with. Okay, so I have a, an important question about okay. vitamin C serum. Why does it sometimes smell like hot dog Hot juice? dog water? Hot dog water. <laughs> like if you if it was like hot dogs, but you kept on using the same water like over and over again, and then we put it on our face. Sometimes it smells like that, right? Some people have said that, <laughs> particularly about one brand. Not your product. Not mine. Your product not is mine. great. That's why I use it. <laughs> so it just is all in how it's formulated. So. Okay. 
Uh, the natural ingredients that we use in skincare themselves don't always smell good. Okay. Yeah. And so sometimes we're adding different things in there to mask that. And mm -hmm. so it may be a masking fragrance where you don't necessarily smell the fragrance. It doesn't smell like lavender, mm -hmm. but it's masking the natural ingredients that are in there. Or people may put in things that you do smell, and that's why you may have a skincare product that smells like lavender or that smells like uh, cherries or whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, the watermelon, like Glow Recipe. I love their products. They smell amazing. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I but love those. The, um, but they don't work for everybody because yeah. of the fragrance. So yeah, yeah. It's either a masking fragrance or it's, you know, fragrance that you can really smell. So I love that. We're going to go with the True Skin Vitamin Oh yeah, C. I forgot. Yeah, you I get, keep putting I get to these get, away just, like you don't want them. I probably shouldn't put it in my pocket now. I would not do yeah, that. Okay. That's shoplifting. Yeah. So. <laughs> Okay. We don't do that here in Idaho. We don't shop with. Well, I mean, they do, but we don't. Okay, don't. we don't. Not. No, no. <laughs> well, remember when you told me back in high school? Oh, we weren't in high school. Together. No, but you told me that story about when you like put that thing in your pocket and just like. Put, and it, oh, that's a different story. I don't we'll remember just, that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I uh, can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> okay, so, so the next thing. So yeah. I put my um, I put my uh, vitamin C serum on, and then usually if I'm going, well, actually then I go to my. Eye, uh, under eye treatment. Okay. Um, so I'm usually looking, um, I'm a mom, so yeah. like sleep deficits, it's an issue. So I'm usually trying to deal with some kind of like bags, okay. and stuff like that. Brightening. So are you is a big using deal. your eye cream twice a day? I'm not. Okay. Um, I've noticed, especially if there's, um, I, I think it's peptides, I'm not sure, but it mm -hmm. can irritate my skin a little bit. Yeah. So I'm just doing it in the morning. Just in the morning. Mm -hmm. So do you want a more like peptide focused or a more like caffeine? Depuffing. You know, thing. I've never used a caffeine depuffing, and have one maybe for you. I should. Yeah, I have one for you. I like caffeine in many ways. All right, so we're doing eye we're cream. We're doing eye cream. We're going to get this one from Neutrogena. So this is the Hydro Boost Caffeine Eye Gel Cream. This is something you can use morning and evening. It does have the peptides in it. Okay. Um, the caffeine is really good to constrict the blood vessels under the eyes and help to depuff. So on those nights, as a mom, you don't get a lot of sleep. Mm -hmm. So do you so think I should do it in the morning? or in the evening, or does it matter? Um, I don't think that it matters. Okay. So um, if you're used to using it in the morning, that's what fits in your routine, I wouldn't change that. Okay. Just keep doing things the way that you're doing them. Again, this is under $20. You don't have to feel bad if it goes missing or something, or you're sharing it with your daughter. Mm -hmm. um, and then hyaluronic acid is gonna help to hydrate, so we risk, re reduce the risk of that irritation that could come with certain ingredients. Okay. But I like I'll this one this. a lot. I actually went to New York with Neutrogena and talked about them, this product when they were doing the unveiling. We talked to the people in their lab. So I was really impressed with the formulation. Awesome. Your so. beer's coming in nicely, I will say. Thank this is you. the first time I've really been around you since yeah. it's, 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 it's full. I'm yeah. impressed with it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think everyone's appreciating it. <laughs> you should do something on how to do skin with your, with your beard. Skin with your beard? Yeah. You we can get have. your husband in there. I know. My husband has a better beard. Let's just Way better. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go on. So okay. um, after that, I'm usually putting on my day cream, which is okay. usually lighter. Uh -huh. My priority for my day cream is that it gives me a good basis. Um, not only for my SPF, I use yeah. those separately. Okay. I don't mind if they're combined. So you moisturize and, and then, then SPF. Do an but SPF. I also really, because um, I'm on camera quite a bit, I like to have a really smooth plane for my makeup. Okay. So that's kind of my goals for that. Okay. Let's go back and I want to pick okay. a moisturizer from Naturium and then we'll find you a sunscreen. Okay. So Naturium, this is a brand, it's been around for a couple of years, hugely popular, and they keep coming out with more and more products. I think it's rare that I found anything of theirs that I don't like. And they have several moisturizers. We're gonna go kind of a more lightweight one. They have like an intense overnight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a lot thicker. And this is the niacinamide gel cream. So gel is gonna be more lightweight. Okay. Niacinamide has a lot of benefits. It can help with lines, wrinkles, pigmentation. It can help with acne. I would say it helps with all those things, but it's not the best thing for any of those issues, but it's a nice compliment to it. Okay. So lightweight cool. moisturizer. Most Naturium products are under 30 bucks. This one's under 20 bucks. So we're keeping things, I think, really affordable. Okay. And then we're moving on to a sunscreen. Do you mm -hmm. like a tinted sunscreen or a clear sunscreen? I like a tinted sunscreen if it's a good tinted sunscreen. Because okay. I'll usually, if I find one that's good, then I'll replace it yeah. and I won't use a primer. Okay. And often, my skin's really good because I have a great dermatologist. Great dermatologist. So I don't have to wear a lot of makeup. Yeah. So sometimes that will be my only coverage. Okay. So, so I can go either way. We have used this in um, a video before, but mm -hmm. of the tinted sunscreens that they have available here, I think you're going to like the Block Star from Bliss the best. Okay. So they have a 50, they have a 30, and I think the 30 is the one that we want. Okay. It has a little bit of a tint to it. It is a mineral sunscreen, mm -hmm. but 
doesn't leave a white cast because it's got a little bit of that tint to it. Okay. A tinted sunscreen is good for any woman that may have some pigmentation issues like melasma because even the heat can cause that melasma to flare up. I know that's not an issue that you're really facing, mm -hmm. but it's just good to know that the iron oxides that give a tint to your tinted sunscreen can help to protect you from the heat that would flare your melasma. Mm -hmm. Your hands are getting full, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. Okay, um, and you know, men can use tinted moisturizer, right? Yes, I mean, or tint tinted sunscreen. I oh, like yeah. this one, I use it, but it doesn't work. I find that it doesn't work well with facial hair. Yeah. Clumps up that. a little bit. Okay, so. so we've done, so this that's pretty much my day. That's I your think. day, yep. yep. And some of these products, obviously, like the cleanser, can be used at night if you like a lightweight moisturizer at night. I realize, though, that if you're them. buying me everything, I should maybe add more to my system. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever can fit in a shopping cart. <laughs> like, that's true. Though it is one thing that I do use from your line that I like a lot is a refresher spray. Yeah. But I'm, you know, honestly, for me, it, I like it, It's mm -hmm. but it's more of just like a An kind experience. of a boost. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know how much that really fits into skincare. Um, I use it, I think, more because I make skincare more of a ritual. Yeah. Um, and I enjoy that too. And that's probably not something you want to pack in your oh, no. luggage. Yeah. Yeah, and like yeah. You're not doing that when you're traveling yeah. necessarily. Okay, so, so then we're going to evening. To an evening routine. Um, I'm using usually the same, the same moisturizer or same yeah, cleanser. And then I, have, I usually do a retinol. Not every okay. day, but about three times a week. Okay, all right. So we're gonna find a good retinol to use. Um, again, we keep bouncing from aisle to aisle, mm -hmm. but I want to go back and okay. find something on this other aisle. Rock, they're kind of the OG of retinol. They were the first ones to stabilize retinol for over-the-counter use, mm -hmm. and they have so many products that are good. So the one that I'm going to pick for you is the Retinol Correction Line Smoothing Capsules. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? So it's like they're, I think I saw my mom using these, and I thought they were really cool. Yeah. Let's see. So one of the problems that people have with retinol is they think if a little is good, a lot is better. Mm -hmm. And they put on way too much retinol and it really can dry out the skin mm -hmm. if you're not careful. So I know you're an experienced retinol user and you're not gonna be using too much, mm -hmm. but these come in a, you know, a capsule. You can't use more than just one capsule unless sure. you're breaking them open. Um, so this gives you exactly what you need to cover your whole face. Mm -hmm. um, Rock does clinical studies with every one of their products, so they're validated, people love them, they experience the results, and so you're gonna get 30 capsules in there. If you're using it two, three times a week, you're gonna get three months out of that. We've cool. washed, we've added a retinol on dry skin. Mm -hmm. And then usually I'm doing a night cream. A night cream, yep. okay. So um, let's... And right now it's winter um, and cold in yeah. Idaho, so I usually use a little bit thicker. Um, okay. During this time, then yeah, I absolutely. Um, sometimes I would use a day um, moisturizer at night. Okay. But, um, yeah, so I'm I'm usually using a little bit thicker. So depending on the time of the year, the moisturizer that you're using could change. Maybe in the summertime you're still using the gel type mm -hmm. moisturizer, and in the winter you're going to use something a little bit thicker. So let's look and see what would be the best one to use. You know, in yeah. in Meridian, Idaho, Target is kind of like the the place to be. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Everyone it's hangs where out everybody here. Everybody comes, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, <So>. Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So, we're wrapping up the skincare routine. We need a night cream. This is something that's going to be a little thicker, kind of like an overnight mask almost. We've already picked a Naturium moisturizer, but this is a really popular one the Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. It's going to be really moisturizing. And again, at a good price point, so under $25. Okay. So we're going to double up on the Naturium moisturizers, one for the morning that's lightweight, that can go underneath your sunscreen, and one for the evening that's going to hydrate all night while you're sleeping. Wake up refreshed after the four hours of sleep that you I get. I know, right? That's fine. I still look great. Um, I have a question for you. Kay. So there are some um, thoughts that sticking to one line is, is going to be your best route because then you know that all of the active ingredients are working together. Right. You, what is there any reason to choose to have like a night product and a day product of the same brand or does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. To me it's more about finding the ones that work well for your skin uh, and if you, I, I think that many brands have good products. Mm -hmm. I don't think one brand has the best product in every category. Mm -hmm. And so you're except for your line, up. except for mine, your line exactly. for sure, hundred percent, one hundred percent. Like there's like Exception not a to the single rule. thing wrong with that line. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I think it's good to mix and match and uh -huh. find things and try different things. And that's why we tend to pick a lot of different products when we do these shopping experiences because I don't want anybody to feel like there's one brand they have to get in order to get good skin. Okay, so. I love it. 
and you, and you're gonna buy all of this for me. I'm gonna pay for like, all of it. I just this is my yeah. favorite favorite like outing we've ever had. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's like it's like chips and salsa and margarita level. So let's go. It's hard to beat. We should and do salsa that afterwards with extra guac. <laughs> I right? know. Like, we should. So. Yeah, we should do that. So we've got a full skincare routine for a busy working mom who's on camera all the time, who is a social media star. Podcaster extraordinaire. Okay. Oh, come on, don't give me that. You know you are. Anyway. So. Well, thank you. You are welcome. We'll get these paid for. Um, questions about the routine, how we're mixing and matching, anything else? Um, so, I am um, just turned 30. <laughs> no, but let's <laughs> say that you um, didn't have, uh, I guess, mature skin mm -hmm. like me. Is this a, a routine that would be fine for someone in their 20s or even in their teens? Yeah, so we have good preventative treatments in here. We've got vitamin C, great for prevention. Um, we've got retinol, great for prevention. Sunscreen, great for prevention. So okay. if you don't have wrinkles, lines, pigmentation like Natalie, I'm saying, Did you say that, that I have that all those things? Know that you don't have those things. I think like we're going to go back and see that the... <laughs> Fine. Maybe it was phrased awkwardly. <laughs> no. <but laughs> so if you have skin that's as amazing as Natalie, okay, thank you. You can still better. prevent mm -hmm. problems with these. Skin Great, problems. and even retinol. Like, there's not yeah. like a. You can even in your early twenties, you could use retinol. We prescribe retinol for teenagers all the time who have oh, acne, so it's okay. safe to use at any age as long as you're not using too much and causing irritation. Cool, love so it. Let's go. There's no reason you can't start it in your twenties. Cool. Right. Well, thank you so much. This You're is welcome. very fun. Let's go check out and... Let's go see what the damage is. Okay. All right. 155.11. All right. I... Only for you, Natalie. <laughs> All right. 156. Self-care, skin care. It goes together with chocolate. Boom.